Well, Professor, tell me first of all, you've produced this report on biofuels. What are biofuels? Well, biofuels are liquid fuels that can be used in transport and that come from plants. Now, can we use them for anything today? Yes, indeed. Uh, already there's uh, some percentage of biofuels that go into regular transport fuel. Uh, but we envisage in the longer term future uh, to be able to make a much bigger replacement. So there'll be a replacement for what? Petrol and diesel will? Yes, that's correct. OK, now what you're saying in this report is that the government needs to be careful and get the policy right. Yeah, we think there's a tremendous opportunity for biofuels to play a part in us uh, uh, dealing with our energy problems for the future. Uh, but we've really got to work more on rewarding the production and the use of fuels that take into account potential damage to the environment and the creation of greenhouse gases. I suppose what you're saying in the report is that not all biofuels are the same. No, they're all different and they have to be considered in that way as well. Uh, it's very important that we look at what we say the situation from the field to the forecourt so that we can take into account how the land is prepared all the way through to producing the biofuel, taking on board the issues that might impact on the environment and certainly in the connection with greenhouse gases. Now where is the government going wrong then, or perhaps what is the government not doing? Well, it's a very good start, but uh, we really do need to take into uh, account the fact that if you do produce some plants and some plant products uh, in the conventional way, that we could aggravate uh, the problems of our overall uh, contribution to greenhouse gases. And so it's very important that where we consider biofuels, we look at uh, from the beginning of their production right to them going into the vehicle, uh, what the impacts are of the various processes involved. I mean, it sounds a very basic uh, thing to consider, though, doesn't it? You know, not just the fuel itself, but the land, the buying of the land, the growing, the transport. Why hasn't the government done that? Oh, I think it's made a start. The fact is, though, that it's a very complicated situation. And we really do need more tools with which to analyse this from field to forecourt production system. Uh, and that needs to be put in place. We need to consider flexibly our attitude towards different biofuels. We need to see our own position in the UK, in the world, and how we deal with, uh, in the same way that we deal with our food and, uh, and building materials that are based on plant production. We need to think about our biofuels in that same way. Could the UK be self-sufficient in terms of biofuels? It's very doubtful. I'm not sure that we would want to do that. I think that we want to do what we're best at. Uh, if we are very good at producing certain high-quality foods and some biofuels, that's what we should do. But of course, to buy in biofuels and the raw materials from which to make them can be a good thing, provided that we take into account the situation in which they're produced, and take on board, not damage the environment there, or passing the problem on to other countries. And of course, we must take into account the important issue of transport. But it is very possible, we foresee, to transport biofuels and the raw materials from around the world by uh, water transport uh, right to the places where they're processed or used in the UK. Now, there is legislation, isn't there, about 5% of fuel sold in the UK must be produced by biofuels by 2010. What do you say about that in the report? Well, that's a start, but it's really got to take on board what those biofuels are and how they're produced. Uh, otherwise, as I said, they could aggravate the, the overall problem of producing greenhouse gases. Uh, I think also we need a bit longer time span because there's a lot more technology that's got to be developed, a lot more science to be done, but there's also the need to create a long term for the business community to see themselves working into. Now I think you said in your report the government needs to set targets for greenhouse emissions from uh, biofuels, is that correct? Absolutely, that's really essential and I think that those targets as well will have to be dealt with somewhat flexibly but they must be there as transparent means by which rewards can be made to those commercial processes that produce the least impacting biofuels in terms of the environment. Okay, Professor, thank you for telling us. Thank you.